All right, everybody. I hope each and every single one of you are ready for the second video by me out of three today, okay? Yes, you heard that right. I'm gonna be recording and posting a total of three videos today, okay? Because the next few days, we're really gonna be upping the ante, okay? We're gonna take this whole video game to a whole different level in the next few days, okay? We're gonna be on a video marathon, okay? I am stepping up to the plate today, so get excited, all right? So, what I'm gonna do for y'all right now, and probably the next video as well, is just, you know, keep this travel series moving around, along really quickly, just so that way we can get it done, we can get it knocked out of the park, and we can move on to something else, okay? But what's gonna remain the same is my sports stuff, okay? Because obviously, you know how much I talk. You, much how, you know how much I love sports. So that's just gonna stay the same. Okay, so we're gonna finish up this travel series. Hopefully, you know, pretty darn soon. Uh, within the next, I'm planning on the, within the next week. And then we'll just go on from there, okay? I'm planning on telling some stories uh, from my personal past, because I've got a lot of them, okay? A ton, a, a ton, a huge amount. And, you know, we'll just, keep, we'll just keep things rolling, you know, because obviously not everybody loves sports. Not everybody loves traveling. So we're just going to keep changing things up. Just so that we can, we can uh, uh, reach out to a bigger audience. We can keep everybody involved, everybody included. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's all about inclusion. You know, obviously I want to keep as much of the community involved with these videos as we can. So that way... We can just keep, we can just um, engage every single one of you the way we need to. So with that being said too, uh, if there's something that you want us to talk about, or uh, sorry, uh, uh, me to talk about, just give me a shout, you know, let me know a topic that you want me to uh, speak on, okay, because I don't, I don't want to just come up with stuff that you guys don't like, okay. So without further ado, I will continue my trip to China. Okay, so we're in Beijing, and one of the uh, main things that we did in Beijing was the um, Emperor's Palace, okay, uh, which was really, really incredible. Just the amount of architecture, the amount of, the, just the way, how big it is, too. Um, and obviously, there's like a ton of history around it. Uh, it was built a long, 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 long time ago, okay, like ages upon ages ago. And... It was just, it was just insane how big it was, okay? It was huge. It was just insanely huge. And, you know, the, the main premise behind it, you know, was for the emperors to stay in this one spot and, and like, for them to be protected. And it was interesting because a lot of the workers and, like, the servants for the emperor, like, while it was being used... You know, once they entered uh, the Emperor's Palace, they never could leave, okay? And so, it was really neat. We were able to explore the whole thing, you know, check it all out, see all the old uh, architecture and all that, which is really neat. Um, <clears throat> probably the highlight, one of the highlights of the trip, and one of the highlights of, of at least being in Beijing, uh, was the Great Wall. Uh, we were able to climb a good... Uh, like a small section of the uh, Great Wall because obviously the wall is just extremely long. It's very, very, very difficult to climb, okay, because of all the um, steps being uneven. Um, and plus the day we went was extremely hot too. Like it was very, very hot, very, very humid. Um, the sun was beaming down on us and uh, the pollution didn't really help too, I out, uh, too much either. So we climbed the Great Wall, incredible uh, views. Uh, because the section of the wall that we were on uh, was located in the kind of this um, uh, little valley uh, valleyway. So we climbed up a little bit and we were able to just look down upon this whole valley. And it was absolutely awesome. And apparently, I didn't find this out until that night. But we were at the Great Wall the same day Tom Brady was, okay? Uh, so it was interesting, again... To my point about the world being a super small place, uh, it was just wild that uh, my used to used to be favorite quarterback, uh, you know, 
was there the same day. But now he's down getting lost in Tampa Bay and he's nowhere to be found. Um, so that was really neat. And like I said, the food was absolutely incredible. Uh, it's awesome. And so we end up traveling to like five cities in to uh, total. So like Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, Wuxi, and Hangzhou. And so there was one uh, event that we went to in a city. Uh, I forget which one it was, but it was really neat. We had a dumpling dinner and a like a show. Uh, so it was in a th like a, a dinner, like a table set up in a theater. The food was incredible. Uh, the dumpling, I love dumplings. That's like my favorite uh, food, uh, to be honest with you. And so we had the dumplings. Uh, the show was going on. The show was really cool. It was a whole bunch of like kind of acrobatic dancing stuff, uh, stuff like acts and all that. Uh, it was great. I thought it was the coolest thing and the food was good. And, um, and so the big talk, topic point that I want to kind of transition to before I wrap up the uh, China trip is Shanghai. Okay. Uh, Shanghai is a really cool city. A lot of, a ton of like just these massive, massive buildings. Um, and you know, the, the major architectural, um, object uh, that is well known in Shanghai is the TV tower. It's like the big, big uh, structure with uh, like the ball, the ball things on it. And so one of the things that we did, uh, we were supposed to go to the show where, you know, it was like they had like these crazy stunts and they had like one of the stunts that they did was they had a whole bunch of uh, people on dirt bikes like going around in circles and like this ball thing. Uh, but the night that we went, they, our travel uh, group uh, ended up messing up the tickets and never got us any. And so that night, we ended up taking a cruise, like a mini cruise up and down the main riverway in Shanghai. And it was so neat because everything at that point was lit up. Everything was nice and bright with the lights. And it was just, it was awesome. It was incredible. We had a lot of great views of the city. Uh, and uh, Shanghai definitely reminded me a lot of um, of New York City, uh, with just the size of it, the amount of people, uh, and just like all the architecture as well. Uh, definitely, I feel like a lot of similarities. Although you know, obviously they they do have the differences too. Um, and one thing to mention again, our hotel was incredible. Okay, absolutely awesome, beautiful, very nice lobby, very nice uh, rooming accommodations. And you know, I, it was it was incredible. It was just it was just awesome. Okay, I, there's just no way around it. And so, the other thing that we did was uh, Shanghai Disney. Uh, Disney in Shanghai was a time, and it was an experience for sure. Let me tell you, because uh, we got there, and so with it being the only Disney in Shanghai. It was insane. It, it was sorry. I'll take that back. It's the only Disney in China, in a country that has billions of people. Okay, so with that being said, the place was freaking packed. Okay, it took us a few hours, like around three hours or so, to just to get into the place. Never mind having to wait another like two hours to get on one ride, having to you know walk around the whole entire park, and then. You know, obviously you got to leave in a couple meal meals in there too. So, it was nuts. I don't understand how we did it, why we did it. Um, you know, it was supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but it was really the most dismal place on earth, okay? And when we were trying to get into the park, you know, we were st stuffed in a crowd of people, okay? And we had, you know, these security guards like screaming at us in like these megaphones. I had no idea what they were saying, but it was just, it was crazy. It was absolutely wild. And so it was interesting because one of the teachers that went on the trip with us, she's like, yep, we are never, ever doing that again uh, on this trip. And so uh, I know they just, uh, I'm pretty sure they actually had canceled, you know, their, their, their uh, trip this year due to um, the COVID-19 epidemic. Um, but... Yeah, so that was, uh, you know, that was kind of a quick snippet on Shanghai. Uh, a really, really, really cool city. Uh, 
and the whole China trip in general was just a great time. There's a lot more involved with the trip, but uh, again, I just want to touch, wanted to touch on the kind of the major points, uh, and you know, just so I don't you know spend too much time talking about it. And so, when we were flying home again, that was another another experience in itself because. Actually, one of our teachers had to stay behind to, uh, like, with, to stay with our family. And so, you know, we all went back. You know, we had our main flight from uh, Shanghai, which already well, got got delayed already by over an hour because people on our flight took forever to pe put their bags in the overhead bin. Okay, and since we were flying Air Canada, they, the um, air traffic controllers put more, more priority on their uh intercontinent inter um like they put uh uh their priority on the travel uh flights within their own you know country rather than uh internet the international flights so they kept bumping back our uh takeoff uh zone uh even more and even more so about an hour and a half after we were supposed to take off we finally took off left shanghai got on our way to montreal canada okay and we landed just to find out that we barely missed our next flight and we, they didn't even wait for us. And I don't even think they took off because of the weather. There's a lot of uh, rough weather in Canada as well as in uh, Boston. And so they ended up putting us uh, in a hotel with like five people per room. And it's just terrible what they did. Uh, so we had to stay over in Montreal for a night because... The, our other flight didn't even leave, okay? So our trip was extended by a day, and I was I was livid, okay? Because um, a close family friend, uh, friend of mine had passed away, and her funeral was going to be that following morning. And because I was in Montreal, you know, I couldn't even make it. And so uh, and I was just super, super upset about that. So that following morning, we packed everything up. We, you know, went to the, back to the airport, and they did give us... Um, free like a free meal like uh, a voucher for free meals and so you know being a teenage boy at the time you know we obviously took care of that easily without a question and so we used that we hung out in the uh, uh in that at the gate of the airport and so that being said you know we had to wait a whole 24 hours just for a, two, uh, like a 45 minute flight that's it so we had the 45 minute flight from Montreal back to Boston. We got on our we got in our limousine and we drove on back to our, my school, St. John's High School in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and we went home. Okay. Uh and when I got home I had to check my schedule at uh my job at the time, uh hoping that they did not schedule me for at least a week because the jet lag is terrible. And of course they scheduled me for the that very next Sunday. So that was that. So that was a miserable time in itself as well. But the whole entire China trip in general was absolutely incredible. I had such a great learning experience, such a great cultural experience, um, and such a great travel experience too. I mean, not many people can say they can go to the whole entire other side of the world, especially at my age, okay? And I've been having the luxury of going literally everywhere. And so the next time I talk to y'all about traveling will be my trip to Ecuador okay I took a service trip down to Ecuador and that's what I'll be talking about next time when we do a travel update so make sure you tune in okay so I do have one more video coming in later on today so make sure you tune in to this steady dream team venture okay adventure because we're going to get things rolling the next few days, and you better be a part of it. So until I catch you on all later on today, peace out from the Steady Dream Team, all right? I'll catch you all pretty soon.